Uh, this will be an introductory video about downloading satellite imagery using Sentinel Hub's process API in Python. So to begin with, uh, you have to you have to create an account on the Sentinel Hub's official website. Uh, for that, just go to the Sentinel Hub's website, and uh, you can easily sign in using uh, your credentials. If you don't have your account, just uh, enter some basic details and you will get a 30 days trial account uh, on sentinel hub so after making the account just log in a dashboard uh, will appear in front of you click on the user setting and uh, here you will see a client authorizations tab uh, this tab contains uh, the credentials of the api that we will generate uh, to download the satellite imagery so it is quite useful for that purpose we have created this account we will need another website which is called uh, sentinel hub request builder uh, and request builder is a platform uh, which can automatically generate the code python code for us and there are plenty of other options which we can play around with so just log in in the request builder using the same account which you have created on the sentinel hub now if you move uh, a little bit down you can see a panel creating the containing the code from the drop down just select sh-py and you will have uh, a code uh, written in the python language uh, we will discuss more on the code later in this video and if we move upwards we have a data collection panel uh, in which uh, there are a couple of options uh, of different satellites uh, you can select as per your requirement and uh, you can also input a date range between uh, which you want to download the satellite imagery uh, and next to that there is uh, an output panel uh, which contains uh, the basic properties of the downloaded image such as width and height you can also select the image format as per your requirement and uh, alongside we have uh, uh, a map on which you can define your area of interest there are multiple coordinate systems you can select any of them as per your requirement the default one is already selected this is the map uh, which contains uh, the bounding box or a polygon uh, which you can draw as per your interest so just move towards uh, move to the region which you are interested in uh, for instance i will go to the pakistan and i will zoom in on the area of islamabad and draw a polygon on my area of interest so we are done with uh, making the polygon and uh, on the right side you can see that uh, the coordinates of the polygon are visible to us and now if we just scroll down uh, we can see uh, a python code written in on our left side and on the right side uh, we have uh, the panel of evolved script so this function this code is basically uh, returning as three bands as you can see and uh, the default script will always uh, return you an rgb imagery which consists of three bands which is a default script and uh, we can also uh, write custom scripts uh, and we will see more on that later in this video and uh, one more thing is that you can upload a kml file also uh, in this option so that you, you don't have to draw polygons manually on the map and now uh, we will go through a collab notebook in which uh, we will see how to run this python code which is generated in the request builder in the collab notebook uh, you have to install a library which is called sentinel hub uh, it is a python library just uh, install it using the simple command of pip install sentinel hub and next step uh, 
we have to load some client credentials of the API that we will generate using uh, uh, the account we have created on the Sentinel Hub website. So just click on create new and type a name as per your preference uh, and uh, click on the create client. You can see uh, your client secret, just copy it and uh, paste it uh, in the section of uh, in the variable of client secret and uh, under the new api which you have generated there is an id which is client id just copy it and uh, paste it uh, in front of client id just run the cell and move uh, towards uh, the next cell which will uh, validate your credentials and if uh, they're not typed in uh, it will display an error next step uh, we are importing some libraries uh, from sentinel hub so i have copied these from uh, the python documentation of sentinel hub so we will just gonna run the cell and we will move uh, towards the next section which is uh, defining the region of interest the region for which we want to download the satellite imagery and you can you remember the polygon we have drawn here so and the corresponding coordinates uh, on the map are displayed uh, in this code so we will copy copy it from here and just uh, define a variable in our collab notebook and paste these coordinates and below that in the same cell we will be defining some more variables uh, such as uh, the resolution of the image which we want to download so for now let's say i will keep it uh, 30 and uh, uh, to convert these coordinates into a bounding box uh, we will use uh, a package from sentinel hub called bbox uh, we will provide the coordinates and the coordinate system so this is the standard coordinate system we will go with it and uh, below that uh, we want uh, to specify the image size, image dimensions. We will use uh, a library called bbox to dimensions uh, in which we will provide uh, uh, our bounding box and the specified resolution. So this library will keep in view the resolution and the bounding box uh, in and generate uh, a suitable bounding uh, a suitable image size for us so so we don't have to specify the image size every time manually we will just define the resolution and the corresponding image size will be generated let me correct this variable will be generated uh, uh, by this uh, library so let us print uh, let us print the image size which will be generated uh, so that we can have an idea um, uh, of how big an image uh, we will be having to download i will just type in the code and uh, just print just run the whole cell so that it can print uh, the size of the image Here comes the image size and yeah just run it mm, so we can see that at 30 meter resolution our image size will be around about 400 into 330 so you can change the resolution and if if i again run uh, the cell you can see that uh, at 10 meter resolution our image size has been increased a lot so for now we will 
stay at 30 meters. After defining uh, uh, our region of interest, uh, we will see how we can download uh, a single satellite imagery on a single date. Uh, uh, and for that, we have to we have to copy some some of the code which is generated by the request builder. So just go on this uh, request preview panel and uh, uh, you can see there is a request written in this script. So just copy the request from the request till the end of the code. Just copy this portion and paste it in this collab notebook. So you have to remove some extra lines such as the geometry and uh, just remove these uh, values from the size variable and just input the image size which has been um, defined in the previous cell and uh, next step from the request builder we have to copy one more thing which is the eval script so uh, just copy the eval script uh, and paste it uh, right above uh, the code you have pasted before in the same cell so this script will be returning a three band true color composite of uh, uh, the portion we have uh, we have defined in the request builder uh, so everything is uh, defined perfectly you can see that uh, uh, the interval the time range everything is defined and just click on the run button and uh, yes the code has been executed and your image has been stored in the response variable and the next big thing is that uh, how can we visualize uh, the image which has been stored in the response variable so for that uh, we will uh, get help of the sentinel hub github repository so just type uh, sentinel hub github and you will be you will be taken to the uh, sentinel hubs github page click on the sentinel hub dash pi repository in the examples you can see at the last utils.py so there is the function which is used to plot the sentinel imagery or any imagery which has been stored in the response variable just copy the code and paste it in the cell and just run the cell now we will be easily able to plot so uh, you can see the function is plot image just type in plot image and uh, uh, we have to pass some arguments such as uh, our our variable which contains the image so i will write the response and and uh, there is a factor we will be defining which is 2.5 by 255 these are some default values you can you can just type in these you can see the imagery the 30 meter sentinel 2 imagery of uh, the specified region is uh, now uh, in your access and you can easily download it from here so you can also visualize uh, uh, the shape of the image array which uh, has been stored in the response variable so i will just type it and yes you can see we have a three band imagery with the same size uh, which has been defined uh, previously in the above cell and uh, in the next section uh, we will be we will be seeing how we can how we can download uh, a least cloudy image uh, within uh, within a given date range so uh, for that I will go to the request builder and uh, I will just uh, gonna change the date I will be selecting uh, at the start of December uh, to the end of uh, January 2023 so that uh, we can have a, a cloud image uh, to view so you can see that uh, in this uh, Python code the date range has been automatically updated so we will just copy copy this range uh, uh, from this code and uh, uh, in our collab notebook we will just uh, replace uh, the previous date range uh, with this new date range just run the cell 
and uh, if we plot the new image which has been acquired you can see that uh, uh, it is uh, there is there is a lot of cloud and uh, almost nothing can be visible from uh, this type of imagery so for that purpose we we require some least cloudy images so for that we will click on the options and uh, in mosaicing order you can see a least cloud cover option you can select this and if you come towards the code uh, in the request preview you can see that uh, in other arguments there is a filter has been added which says that uh, return uh, though uh, return that image which has the least cloud cover among the among the specified date range so we will just uh, copy the same old code uh, from the previous cell and just paste it uh, uh, in the new cell and uh, we will just uh, copy this uh, other arguments uh, which has been defined in the request builder and uh, below the time interval we will paste uh, this data filtering which has been applied and just uh, run the code yeah it has been executed and uh, to plot this we will use the same uh, plot underscore image function with the same parameters and if we run this you can see that uh, the image now has almost almost no cloud cover so uh, this is quite useful option which request builder uh, provide us um, and uh, you can see that it is a clear image uh, without uh, any of the cloud cover